Hey guys, Game Sugars here. Today we are on the Crew Wild Run. Um, I'm going to be starting a new series where I'm going to be traveling across the country and showing you different cities within it and the landmarks that they hold. Now, when I first played this game, I didn't realize that the U.S. would have so much detail and I was when I found like a lot of these landmarks it really surprised me that they were able to copy this put this all in a game I mean yeah you can travel I'm doing a terrible job of driving because I'm talking so don't talk while drive um anyways <laughs> um yeah so I'm gonna be starting a new series across the country just be driving man the crew wild run I haven't made any videos this is the first of this game and just something that I just want to do show off the map and yeah so first city that we're gonna be doing today is st. Louis Missouri it is located in the Midwest region if you do not know where st. Louis is on your regular map or yeah it's over here in the Midwest region zoom in south of Chicago across the Mississippi right here is st. Louis so there you go um first landmark I'm gonna be showing you today is you probably have seen it before it is the gateway arch now it's I'd say that it's a pretty famous landmark in the United States itself. Um, I really don't know anyone who doesn't know what this is, but yeah, I've I've been in the arch itself before. It's really high, and I'd say they've there's a hot air balloon up there. Hi. I'd say they have about the height matched up maybe not sure about that but um yeah put a lot of detail onto it obviously can't drive over to it because there's a little wall preventing us from doing so as you can see right here it's not like something I can just go drive through the wall see I, I can't go through it so yeah anyways Next, we're going to be driving over here to the Jefferson Memorial. I think that's what it's called, right? Jefferson Memorial. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here it is right here, ladies and gentlemen. Put a lot of detail into this as well with the structure of the building and all that jazz. It looks pretty nice. I'd say for a video game it'd probably be a building I want to check out you know yeah really like this game out of all the places you can travel and the different stuff that you can actually see in it so point of this series is to just take the time to admire the different structures and the detail that they put in this game so the third landmark I'll be showing you is the Bush Stadium and for those of you who don't know the St. Louis Cardinals play at this stadium and this is not their logo I'm assuming they can't put the logo in because of trademark purposes not sure about that but it looks like some kind of eagle yeah looks about like the I, I forgot the name of the football team but it looks kind of like that eagle there's the inside of the stadium nice bright red seats could have did a little better work on the grass but overall I think I think they did a pretty good job pretty good job even got the little outlet outside here typical Bush Stadium yeah it's pretty cool you can go over here to the front well yeah guess kind of the most common known side to it. it says Big Bush Stadium one of the things I want to point out here 
Cause it got me kind of laughing when I first saw it. But Bush in the game is spelled B U S H. In St. Louis itself, it's B U S C H. So I want to point that out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to do that. Don't ask me. That's a, that's a cop right there. Just gonna ignore that. Um, yeah, they did great work on the stadium itself. So yeah. Um, now let's just let's take a little time to go out and look at the city. Just in the city, you can just take a little drive. All right. Now, in real life, they have this little grass area out here behind the Jefferson Memorial. Um, I don't know if it has any specific name or if it's just grass. It's just grass. That's all I know it as. That little, yeah. Those little thing. I've seen it before when I went to St. Louis. You know, that thing right there that just connects these two buildings. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Don't know if it's in a specific area, but I remember seeing something like that. Now, one of the things I did notice is that they do not have the Rams football stadium here. And for some of you that may or may not know, the Rams do not currently play in St. Louis anymore because they moved to Los Angeles. Now, I'm sure in real life they did not get rid of the stadium. I'm pretty positive of that. And that would not be a reason why it's not here. So, football stadium should be somewhere around here, but they did not include it in the game. So, those of you who want to see that, that's not a thing. So, yeah. Now we can just take a little drive through here. I think with the details, even the little stores on the side. Grocery and meat. Welcome, fair visitors. Oops, don't want that. I think the overall the crew is a pretty nice game. I like it. Just gives you a little more if you're not able to go somewhere in real life. This just gives you the experience of being there in a video game. Now just want to make this clear to you that does not take 12 hours to drive somewhere right and they, I don't think any game would really do that to you and yeah so just to let you know put in perspective st. Louis is tw 17 miles from New York approximately so just wanting to let you know that in, in case you actually thought that it was a lot longer I don't know why they would ever do that I mean nobody would play the game because it would take forever to get places but just wanted to let you guys know of that in case that's what you thought so yeah doesn't take too long to get to different places not really concentrated on my driving skills right now I'm just going about and talking and yeah I'm just not doing it 
good job of that. Now. Dormer drills. In case you wanna, wanna, I don't know, buy drills? Probably not what that's for, but yeah. So yeah. Anyways, I guess that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now, if you have a comment or question, please leave it down in the comment section below. I would love to read them and answer any questions that you have. And if you like the video, like. If you want to see more and catch all the videos of this new series, please subscribe to our channel. You'll get those. Um, yeah. So that's basically it.